Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video, I have a fabric haul, I guess you would call it, or an unboxing, a bagging. I've already thrown the bag away, um, but it came in just a one of the gray plain bubble mailers, and this came from Pineapple Fabrics. I got an email from Pineapple Fabrics that said, two pounds scrap bag for $15.99 plus ship, and I was like, do I really need 15 of, uh, you know, spend $15, $16 for two pounds of scrap? Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think I need to spend $15.99 for two pounds of scrap. Um, and it came like super fast because they're in North Carolina. They're only two hours away from me. So it came super fast. And this is my two pounds of scrap. So it's, it says right here, get it in the light. Pineapple fabrics, two pounds scrap. $15.99. <laughs> so right off the bat, looking at this fabric, I was like, those are my colors. You guys know I love teals and purples. Those are my colors. So let's get into what this is. I don't know how big anything is. It says scrap. So I don't know. We'll kind of open them up and see. This material feels... I don't know. It just feels different. It doesn't feel like the quilt material I'm used to feeling. Um, let's look, see if we have some selvage going. It's a pretty good size. I don't want to open it completely and ruin their beautiful folding here because it's nice and neatly folded. It is poor color, Paula. Natal Stern for Burn, Burnatex, 100% cotton. So that is what's on the selvage. And there is, and it's big. I mean, it's probably at least half a yard. So there is that piece. I'm actually going to fold them up smaller as I go. So I can put them away. <gasps> it's a piece of batik. <laughs> Oh, this would have went so good with Ronnie's quilt. So this is a piece of batik with like a fern pattern on it. I know it's not going to have anything on the selvage, but that is, it's a pretty good size too. Because that's still folded in half and half again. So really pretty piece of batik. I love batiks and their watercolor. I love working with watercolors. I've not painted with watercolors in a while. I used to paint with them all the time. But I love that quality of a batik. It's like the watercolor um, kind of the way they flow. So there is that piece. This is pretty. And this is very sunny. It's very spring. It is daffodils. And it says, Summer Garden Daffodil Macauer, UK, 100% cotton. And to open it up, it's, I mean, it's a pretty good size, too. And it's folded over again. So, there's that piece. Oh, and I could actually use this next piece, probably with this piece. I mean, I would totally use that. This has orange in it. They're not exactly the same orange, but I could, I would get away with that. So this is Andover Fabrics. That's all I see is just as Andover. So I don't know what the um, fabric, like the lawn, but it is from Andover. And it's a really pretty orange. This is a smaller piece. And it has like little, just little lines and dots making a pattern. And then I might could get away with this little piece too. This is more, it's looking very chartreuse on camera. It's more olive. It's looking very chartreuse on camera. This is like the smallest piece yet yeah it's just a tiny little piece but you could do a couple of squares out of it something scrappy that's why it's called a scrap bag 
Okay. Woo. This next one. I don't know what I would. Ooh, Halloween. This might go with some good Halloween. Um, it is, this is, this is chartreuse. <laughs> this is like a chartreuse green with teal moons. And this is Andover, created by Libs Elliott. That's all I see. Let's see if I can find another piece. Moon Age. This is a pretty good size piece as well. But this might go with some good Halloween um, colors. So that's a pretty good size piece of fabric there. <gasps> more purple oh i like how this one feels this is a good size piece let's look and see if the silvage says anything oh yes andover very hungry caterpillar eric carly i think for personal use only <laughs> this is a good size piece as well because this is folded over again and again and i'm looking to see if it it almost looks like it says something in there, but I don't think it does. So a really pretty piece of purple. You can put that back with the first purpley piece we got. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, and the last piece. It's dragonflies. Look how pretty this is. And you could definitely work these three together. Definitely. You could about work all of these colors except for the daffodils. I don't think would really go. I don't think the daffodils would, would match in. This is very close to that rust color that's in there. The greens are not quite a perfect match, but again, nice size piece of fabric. This is Wilmington Prince. Really pretty dragonflies. I have some other butterfly dragonfly fabric that I got from pineapple in a scrap bag and it was in their dotty scrap bag this is floral flight by MJ Merrill so that's the name of this one if you like it I don't know if these are still available on pineapple fabrics but if you subscribe to their emails when the sales pop up um, you will get the email that the scrap bags are available I'm trying to fold this back the way it was how did they have it not exactly sure i can't get it folded back ah shannon why didn't you unfold it oh wait i got it maybe not anywho it's dragonflies it's a super cute fabric, but um, those really do good together. Or like I said, you could throw in this one as kind of a offset to offset these purples. Nice. I like that they really kind of put fabrics together that you could use together. Alrighty, guys. There is my pineapple fabric two pound scrap bag and I'm waiting on my pineapple um slice box for the month of January that is what I got in my scrap bag as always guys thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up we will be doing some more sewing here soon now that the holidays are over and hopefully I can get some time off from work we'll do, be doing some more sewing I actually have some fabric to show you in the next video where we can complete this Christmas um, jelly roll quilt. So I'll be completing that one with you. So stay tuned to the next video. I have a little bit more fabric to show you.